Beta 2 for iOS 16.2 is here and it has brought some major changes to the table such as introduction of 5G. So without wasting any time, let's check out what all new things will be get in this software along with 5G. So first, let's talk about lock screen widgets. After you install the latest software and then lock your screen, now after unlocking it, you can just long press on the lock screen to customize it. And now when you tap on lock screen, tap on add widgets, scroll down. And now you can see you get new widgets for health and sleep app. When you tap on health app, you'd see two new widgets dedicated for medications. So if you are someone like me who tends to forget they need to take medicines, this feature is going to be very helpful for you. You also get smaller screen size widget for same. So if you want medication reminder, but do not wish to give all the space up in the lock screen, you can opt for the smaller widget. And similarly, you also get new widgets for sleep data and you can now view all your sleep patterns just from your lock screen. Now let's take a minute and talk about 5G. So just go to settings, tap on mobile data, tap on mobile data option and now tap on voice and data. You see now you get options for 5G along with 4G as well. If you wish to keep 5G on permanently, you can select this option. But keeping 5G on auto is more recommended since it will take lesser battery life. I believe as of now, a very limited number of network service providers have unlocked 5G services, that too in very limited cities. So if you have a 5G supported network service provider, have a 5G enabled iPhone and live in a location where 5G services are available, be prepared to use 5G on stable iOS 16.2 version in December. Next up, Apple has fixed a very strange bug from iOS 16.2 beta 1. A bug which didn't let users use gestures whenever they accessed camera from their lock screen. This was flooded all over Twitter when the beta 1 was released and I personally noticed this one on my 13 Pro Max. But I'm happy to announce that Apple has finally squashed this bug. Talking about bugs that Apple has fixed in this software update, a lot of beta testers have mentioned that uh, with this software update, they are now getting a better battery life. But since battery testing requires a little time, so it would be little too early for me to comment on that. Beta testers have also mentioned that Apple has stabilized the Freeform app which was introduced in Beta 1. But in the short time that I got to test the Freeform app on the Beta 2, I didn't notice any major improvement and to be honest, I didn't even notice any major flaw in the Freeform app of Beta 1. Apart from these features, all thanks to 9to5Mac, we got to know about a new custom accessibility mode that Apple will add in future versions of iOS 16.2 Beta and as of now it is codenamed Clarity Mode. It is said to provide a streamlined experience for iPhone and iPad by replacing the Springboard which is the main iOS interface and is aimed at making iPhone and iPad's interface more user-friendly to those users who find it too complicated. And according to my assumptions based on these screenshots, I think that this will be very useful for elderly users since it has eliminated almost every aspect of the regular interface that one can find complicated. So that is it for this one. Do let me know what are your thoughts about iOS 16.2 Beta 2. I am personally fascinated about 5G and I am willing to test it on my 14 Pro Max and 13. Pro Max. If you're watching this video till this point, then make sure to give us a like button, subscribe button, and make sure you press the bell icon to stay updated with everything Apple. Also, if you like to know about everything Apple in detail, then make sure you download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store. This is me here signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.